Hey guys, so in this video, uh, we're gonna be learning replay mod in 3 minutes, so what you wanna do is first is make sure your FOV is kinda low, cause low FOV is better. Don't put your shaders on, we're not rendering yet, put your shaders later. Okay, so okay, so first take take the first position that you wanna go to, and then just click on add time keyframe, add position keyframe, who cares what they mean, man? Okay, then just play the clip a little bit, until the point where you want the clip to stop, so, uh, let's see, maybe when I wanna start running out, okay, character disappeared, um, yeah, that replay mod is really good. Okay, so I want the cinematic to end right here. All right, this is actually gonna be the clip that renders the the timeline for it. So it's basically synced. The replay mod syncs it up for you. So just don't mess with that. All right, and then uh, we want rotation too. So if you go here, it says roll clockwise. So here, here's all your key binds. So if you press L, then you go a little bit to the side. Um, if you press J, you go a little bit uh, to the left. And then if you press K, then you go back to center. So Right now, we're just gonna make this go sideways. And over here, you just add time keyframe, position keyframe. If you play the camera path from cursor position, then uh, it should, yeah. It just rotates and rotates and rotates until we get to that spot. All right, so once you're satisfied with your clip, all you have to do is, um, well, this is optional, but you can get shaders if you want. Just get nice shaders, computer is gonna die. And now the game looks really good. And once you're satisfied, just click render camera path output file you can click on this make it name it whatever you want video resolution default is 1920 by 1080 but i like to have the black bars so if you like the black bars on the bottom and top i think they're called letter boxes then make it 816. most people like to do it because it just looks more professional that way um bit rate uh, the higher the bitrate, the more high quality the video is, but YouTube has a max bitrate of 35 megabits per second for um, 4K videos, so it, I don't know why it's 80, whatever. Video frame rate, self-explanatory. Uh, make sure to uncheck render name tags. Anti-aliasing, um, what I've learned is if you turn this on, it takes forever to render and barely makes a difference, so just put that to none. Uh, all of these, just uncheck all of these. No anti-aliasing, and once you're satisfied, just click render. If you click this, you can see a preview, but performance might suffer. I mean, who cares? It's just gonna, it's gonna take a really long time. Alright, and if something doesn't look right, you can always cancel rendering, and it just stops the whole process. So right now, it's looking pretty good. This would be a really good intro for a montage, actually. Alright, and once uh, you're done, just click open video folder, and your video should be an mp4. Uh, if you accidentally click close, then you can search up percent app data percent in your... A search bar, go to there, open the minecraft.minecraft .minecraft folder, and op open the folder called replay videos. And you're basically done, you have your clip ready, and you can just keep repeating this process over and over again. Once you're done, you have to remove these, right? So to remove them, all you have to do is just click on it, remove time keyframe, click on this, remove pos position keyframe, and you just keep clicking on them, and then just, yeah. And that's how you remove them, and then you can just start over again. So yeah. I hope this you found this tutorial helpful. I tried to make it really quick and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.